this afternoon. Governor Kathy Hochul calling it the investment of the century. This $100 billion project expected to bring tens of thousands of new jobs to central New York. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining me live from the National Veterans Resource Center at Syracuse University, where this major announcement was made just a short time ago. So, Andrew, this is a game changer for our community and really all of New York State. Ryan, that's what the leaders involved are promising. The Senate Majority Leader, Governor Kathy Hochul, and Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon all promising this life-altering plan. $100 billion being invested by Micron. It would create over 20 years, 45,000 jobs locally. I know people in Central New York are desensitized. Announcement after announcement, promise after promise, but this feels different. I want to first show you what the projection looks like. This is what's called a preliminary illustration of the Micron plant. This is what is currently the White Pine Commerce Park off Caudney Road in the town of Clay. That's what Micron is projecting it will look like when it's finished. Construction will start in just a couple years after some prep work. I want to now bring in a man who gets a lot of credit for this project, the Senate Majority Leader of the United States, New York's Senator Chuck Schumer. You had a big announcement on stage just a little bit ago. How are you feeling? It's a happy day. Happy is much too mild a word. I'm exhilarated when I finally heard that their board, after three years of work and pushing and persuading, had decided to come here to Clay. I jumped out of my seat. It's amazing. And I know what you said. You asked people, well, how come this promise is real? One of the best ways we know it's real is not only the contracts they've signed that they will lose money if they don't get it, but they're desperate for new factory because there's a shortage of these chips. Micron has orders that go years and years ahead where they're going to make money if they build a factory. So it's in their interest to build a factory. Obviously, they wanted to cut the best deal for Micron. We wanted to cut the best deal for Central New York, and both happened. When I looked up on stage, I saw all levels of government. I saw the federal government in you. I saw the state government and the governor. I saw the county government in Ryan McMahon. This was really a partnership, incentives and work on all levels together. To get such a big, huge project that before we passed the CHIPS Act, the whole world was competing for. Germany, France, Singapore, China, Taiwan all wanted Micron to make their big new memory chip factory, the most advanced in the world there. Once we passed the CHIPS bill, the competition was still great among the United States. They said they'd stay in the U.S. It was an only after we passed something very unique to Micron, which I had to push through against the opposition of many, the investment tax credit that they decided uh, to come here. But there was huge competition for this because it's such a game changer in so many different ways. And for Micron, it's a necessity. This isn't, you know, a whim. I want to explain to people something critical. This will take 20 years to fully be developed, fully built, right. and to get to that 45 to 50,000 number of employees. Right. Talk about that ramping up yes. process. Well, they're going to build one plant at a time. They're going to build four major chip fab plants here. It's going to be the size of 40 football fields. Each one is, I don't know, 600,000 something or other cubic. I don't know, <laughs> square feet. I don't know what it is, but it's a lot. And, um, it's it's huge, but it's going to go on for a long time. Once they decide to start building here, they're going to keep going because the demand for not only chips, but memory chips, which is what Micron leads the world in, is huge. They need a place to build them. Now, semiconductors, um, DRAM, there's all these technical terms yeah. thrown around. What is this? The people that live there and can see this factory go up, the multiple factories, what will be happening inside? Okay. Well, what's happening is they're going to make these chips. You know, when you wonder, how does your computer get information so fast? How can Siri respond to a voice? It all is electronics underneath it, and you need lots of different electronic circuits connecting in a lot of different ways. And they have found with the chip how to do that quickly and efficiently. That's why they're not big, so that electricity can move very fast. All right, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Thank you. Thank I think you. your first live interview since the announcement. So it is really appreciate it, Senator. Always help Andrew. He's a great reporter. Thank you so much, Senator. He's worked years on this. It's finally happening. It's for the benefit of Central New Yorkers. The leaders have a lot of promises, Ryan. And now the first step in keeping those promises happened today. Andrew, uh, I agree with him. You are a great reporter. Hey, I have a question, though, for before you run out, though. Why did the CEO of Micron say Central New York was the place? I know he had, you know, to pick from all over the country, all over the world. Why Central New York? 
Senator, I'll pass this question to you. Ryan Dean back at the Hi, station Ryan. wants to know why clay? Why did Micron okay. say clay is the best? Look, it was great water. We have cheap water and a lot of water here in upstate. We have cheap electricity from Niagara Power for Authority. We have a good workforce. But other places had that. Here's what clay had that no one had, space. There were other places in New York that wanted this, but Micron wants to build four of these factories, and the only clay had those other three things and enough space to build it here in New York. All right. Thank you again Thanks. so much. Great. Ryan, so much coming up later. News Channel 9 first at 4 and then continuing into the 5 and 6 o'clock hour, including a CEO, an interview, I should say, with the CEO of Micron. We sat down with him just a few minutes ago. We'll have that later tonight on News Channel 9. Back to you. All right, Andrew Donovan, thank you for your great reporting. Well, new this noon, President Joe Biden weighing in on Micron's plan, saying to those who doubted that America could dominate the industries of the future, I say this, you should never bet against the American people. Today is another win for America and another massive new investment in America spurred by my economic plan. Together we are building an economy from the bottom up and the middle out where we lower costs for our families and make it right here in America. Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh also sharing his thoughts on this massive announcement saying in part the rise of Syracuse as one of the leading places in the nation for technology investment is going to the next level. Micron's commitment to build a mega complex in Onondaga County brings historic energy to the Syracuse surge. Our strategy for inclusive growth in the new economy, Syracuse and Central New York are honored by Micron's vote of confidence in the region. To see all of today's announcement from the governor, Senator Chuck Schumer, who we just heard from, and the Onondaga County Executive, Ryan McMahon, head to localsyr.com. You can also read more about Micron's plan for Central New York and see reaction from more local leaders.